If you get one of these fake GTX 750s from eBay that's really a 550, you can install the driver by going to nvidia.com, clicking on drivers, clicking on GeForce, then going down to the 500 series, clicking search, download the file, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to click show folder and uh, run the installer. And just close that. Yeah, these uh, GeForce 550 uh, TIs are annoying that they've BIOS, Mac, BIOS hacked to get to, to show up as a 750. Yeah, we were still waiting for this thing to extract. Anyway, if you don't know how to get device manager, you can just click start and type device manager. And uh, click on update driver. Browse my computer. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I actually meant, uh, meant it lets me pick from list. Have disk. Now go to uh, drive C. NVIDIA. I'm going to cancel that. You don't need the installer. Anyway, go to NVIDIA. Display driver. And then international. Display driver. Click open. Click OK. And let's click uh, cancel. That's why it's a uh, why the uh, Windows Update driver is uh, all frozen up is because the Nvidia driver is trying to install or check the system for the drive the video card. I uh, have to wait for this thing to cancel. Come on, cancel, cancel, cancel. This is getting annoying. About as annoying as getting ripped off with one of these video cards. Anyway, now the show compatible hardware, untick that, scroll up until you get to the 550, and I just tried the last one on the list, click next, it's going to warn you about installing the driver, it's not recommended, but we know better, it's really a 550 Ti graphics card, so, and that's it, it's just installing the driver. So I have to wait. It takes a while. And, and here we go. Installed. You click close and you'll see it update 550. And uh, it's going to hit I click refresh here, but it's not working. It turns out to uh, whatever GPU Z just doesn't seem to refresh and show you the proper thing. Um, so I'll just close it and reopen it. And there we go. 550 Ti. Now some programs think it's a 550 Ti and some of them actually check the hardware info like uh, we'll run the uh, Furmark and you'll see that it still picks it up as a 750 Ti. But at least we have the right drivers installed now. So that may help with compatibility if there is any, considering the 750 is a way different graphics card. But as you can see, it's rendering just fine. And that's about it.